Desert Island was first mentioned, I immediately thought about the similarity with COVID-19. Uh, what would you miss most if you're on a desert island? And I would have thought people. What did we miss most through COVID? Again, people. Then on our first lockdown, we had great weather. The, uh, for most of the, the, the uh, three, uh, three or four months, we had to stay at home. But we were uh, told by the government that we should stay at home Exercise once a day, but no conversation. But we were blessed with wonderful, wonderful weather uh, for the two or three months of warm sunshine, just like a desert island. April 2020, I had fallen downstairs uh, and done a lot of damage. And I was very immobile and spent my days on a month under an umbrella in the garden as this was as far as I could walk. I am sure at certain times of the year, a desert island would have a monsoon season, as we did during a second and third lockdown. We had it as well, wet, cold, windy, and very depressing, especially for those of us who lived alone. But unlike a desert island, during COVID, we had our family and friends, if only on a night as far away as a telephone. At this particular time, I would like to thank Barbara and Noel for uh, looking after me you know, the, that, that time, especially for to Noel, because he was left in his own for three or four weeks uh, to look after himself when Barbara came to look after me. And that was on two occasions. <clears throat> April 2021, when I had a life threatening uh, issue with heart problems, which, which, which have changed my life completely. I was told by at least three doctors that I had been very lucky to have survived. God has been with me all through COVID, just as he would be with each of us as we would go through a desert island if need be. My testimony. I would like to bring a piece of music, the words of a piece of music to you this morning. Uh, the chorus of song 848 in the songbook. The words of the chorus, I am in his hands. I am in his hands. Whatever the future holds, I am in his hands. In the good times and the bad times, I know I, I am in his hands. The last 14, 15 months have been hard and I would not have survived without love and comfort guidance. And it's the same for just for the future. We need to lean on him for all that's going to happen as we look forward to getting back to our worship hall full time. His promise is there of only we ask and obey. God has been my support and strength now for 44 years and I cannot possibly get through life without him close beside me. He has promised us that he would guide us into the future and if we lean on that promise and, and give our service completely over to him. We, we only have to ask and obey. The words of this song, uh, the, the, chorus, the words of the chorus of this song, uh, I would like, there's three verses. If we come to the last verse, I would like to change the words. I'd like you to change the words in your mind. Instead of singing or thinking, I'm in his hands, I'm in his hands. I would like to change it to, I'm in your hands, I'm in your hands. Whatever the future holds, I'm in your hands. And I would make that our prayer for each and every one of us. So over to you, Noah. Amen. <laughs> I shall not be the darkened clouds again.